That's 11 o'clock Sunday night, B93.1. It's time for B93.1's 15 Minutes of Fame. Um, I'm going to do something kind of weird tonight because uh, I, I'll, I'll explain. Okay. Normally, we have like a, like an actual musician in here, uh, you know, or, or multiple actual musicians. And then sometimes we do the best of. And tonight, I'm going to do a best of, but we're also going to do something weird. And I'm not 100% sure why I thought this was like a super great idea. Um you probably have heard the name of the man that I have in the studio with me tonight. Um, and and your re- reaction is either one, that like much like mine, where you're like, ah, that dude's great. Or you're like, that dude is an idiot. I despise him. Like, you may hate him already, which is why we're pre-recording this, because I don't want, like, angry mobs outside the B93 studios with, like, pitchforks and torches and stuff. Uh, tonight, my guest is Jay Smith. Hello, world. <laughs> That's the first thing you decide to say. <laughs> That's I'm so impressed right now. You know, this was a great idea. I'm glad uh, I had you on. Thank you. Because you clearly have so much to bring to the table. No, again. Hello, yeah. world. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Johnny. The reason I wanted to have you on the show is because you're leaving Modesto. That's true. And I think I think it's kind of a tragedy. Maybe not a tragedy, but a little sad. Because it's like I, I I don't know, man, and and I know this all this does is feed into your already tremendous ego, but you're kind of a Modesto institution. Thank you. You know, and so when you told me you're leaving for L.A., I'm like, first my first thought is I hate L.A., and my second thought is, wow, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, I'm you not, know, I'm not gonna go too far, Johnny. You know, I like my roots are here in Modesto. I love Modesto, honestly. I mean, uh, as much as I gotta go, dude, don't hit me. That LA is far. It's, LA is far. It's only 300 miles, dude. It's not like Arkansas. It's like seven hours away. You know what though? Like, if you drink enough Rockstar soda, it's really not that hard <laughs> of a drive. You, you, you kind of get into that zone, especially if you got NOS. That's true. Yeah, that makes your car go yeah. fast, from what I understand. I I don't know if I should put NOS in my car, though. No, yeah, I th- it would detonate my car. I yeah. got a beater, man. I think I blew a a, a a seal last time <laughs> I just put, like, one of those octane boosters in my car. So, yeah, apparently you have to put gas in with it, too. I don't I don't, I, I, I don't think I've ever done anything to my car that made me do that. But Yeah. Wow. No, nah, it's, it's, you know, Modesto. I, I'm going to come back. Don't, I'm not, and I'm not going to come back with my tail between my legs. Like, everybody's like, you going to L.A.? <laughs> They're going to kill you. So You're going I, to L.A. to fail. You yeah. just don't know it. Yeah, no. If Thanks anything, for being so supportive. If anything, my, you know, I'll come back and be like, how did I ever swim in this pond? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> how It's did, like a fat man in a bathtub. Yeah, you know? how did I grow? It's like, well, I, I can get a little bit wet, but I'm never going to get all of me underneath this water. You I'm know? grounded. I'm grounded. I'm, I'm, I'm bottoming out. But, you know. It's like trying to dry dock the Queen Mary. You just don't do it. <laughs> Not I think, in Modesto. I think if you did, I think if you did, the wood would start falling apart. I'm guessing. I'm thinking the water holds it together. Yeah, the salt water, the yeah. saltiness. Yeah, it, you know, the brine. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have to ask, dude, and I and I've been waiting to ask you this so that I could ask you in a uh, in a live on air situation. Like, oh, do you no. have a do you have an actual plan? Or are you just going down there you know, and hoping plans are plans are like really plans are for people that work in cubicles like you, Johnny. <laughs> uh, you know, like cause, cause it, clearly that's what cause, I do. Because if you think about it, I mean, like for all you all you people out there that are working hard nine to five jobs, like a guy like me, you you hate me right off the bat just because I sleep till noon. Like that just like that just that just blows your mind. You know, I sleep till noon. Well, but you but then you come to this cubicle, like with microphones, which is fun. I like my microphones but you know the average person like what are they gonna do they're gonna like spend years and years in their cubicle just to be upgraded to be able to babysit everybody else in their cubicles right you know like become the head worker bee and then someday you might get a cubicle with a window you (laughs) you you got like a bunch of windows you're this is like an aquarium for like um for like cubicle people you know you're gonna wind up going down there and becoming like a niche market male stripper, dude. A lot you of have people, to have a plan. No, no. Well, my plan is, uh, you know, I do want to maybe work in the radio down there. I, I'd like to get into the satellite radio so I can use all my filthy words. So your whole plan is basically like, Just, move to L.A., 
blank yeah. profit. <laughs> it's kind of like Mad Libs. Yeah. It's right. Like, it's, like, it's like I moved to fill in location, mm-hmm. L.A., to blank with a noun. I'm gonna, right. Uh, no, actually, I guess I won't noun there. I'll verb there. You'll verb there. Yeah, I'm going to verb there. Hopefully. and then And then... If I fail or I succeed, like uh, you know, it remains to be seen. I don't, I don't know. I don't really fail in a lot. I do. I mean, I'm the guy that whenever you tell me that I'm fired, I stand up and I go, I quit, and then I get another job that afternoon. You know, fifty percent of our listening audience is gone by now. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're like, oh, this guy is so in love with himself. I'm really. I thought not. Chimpa was bad. <laughs> Well, that's why you and I clicked right off the bat. I mean, we were <laughs> right. like, I thought it, I thought it was it was almost love at first sight, but I didn't have a beard at the time. It could have gone either way. It when you get egomaniacs together, either they decide to team up <laughs> or they decide to oppose each other. Yeah, like that, powerful rare earth magnets, and that turns into like a you know, it's usually more females try to challenge me in like party situations. You know what well, I mean? I think it's because guys get it. More guys yeah. get you than girls get you, I'd have to say. If you've never seen Jave Smith's live act, <laughs> which I haven't either, really. No, I saw you on stage seen, at the Mama Awards. You've seen me in situational comedies, though. Right, right. Like talking to Angie Good <laughs> and uh, and uh, hanging out at Copper Rhino. This, this, is, this is what Jay Smith does. Jay Smith <laughs> finds out we've got, uh, we've got Summerfest coming up, and he says, you know what? This is a great opportunity for me to host their show. Yeah. And so <laughs> what else would you what else am I going to do? Am I going to like go up there and sing with Sapo and no. So he and I are talking and Angie walks by, my boss, Angie from Cruising Good, Angie Good, walks by and uh and I introduce him cuz I know that he wants an in. And he just proceeds to make like the biggest ass out of himself. <laughs> and I'm laughing hysterically. And I, Angie was like 100% like the most nonplussed I have ever seen her. No, I think she, she was just like, huh. It was, <laughs> it was one of those times where, you know, like it's kind of like you're in, annoying your in laws or something. Like she was just like so not impressed. <laughs> right. Uh, that she was like, you know what? I am so unimpressed with Jay Smith. I don't even want to Google him and consider him for anything. Right. Like, if he doesn't walk any further closer to the entrance of this building, I'll be happy. So she so. walks away. It's clearly it's clearly been one of the most miserable like personal you know in, interactions he's ever had. Yeah. And this is this for me. This sums you up perfectly. She walks away, and Jay looks at me and goes, "Well, that went well. <laughs> <laughs> I made an oh, ally there. <laughs> yeah. No, the life mate right there. Right. Man. For She's, real. Yeah. I no. You know, sometimes, uh, sometimes I don't hit it off too well. It, it's. I mean. She is clearly a, a, a pretty woman, and, and a lot of pretty ladies don't uh, really appreciate my humor because as soon as I say... Because they you know, know they could be treated better. Well, I'm you know, my thing is, as a promoter, I'm kind of sick of them all getting in for free and getting all their drinks for free. You know what I mean? That's coming out of my pocket in some way, shape, or form because somebody's got to pay the other entertainment that I, happen, I brought in. I happen to know that Angie pays for her own drinks. I believe it. You know, I mean, she seems like I, I don't mean to. She's like, a I woman of the '90s, man. Or well, or or at least the late '80s. I mean, it would be good. You know, the liberal angle is a good angle for anybody in charge of Johnny Jim. I don't even know where you're going with this, man. I'm I'm, I'm a little bit lost, and I wonder if you even Can know I? where you are. Well, uh, Jay Smith, Google him. Google Jay, me, Jay Smith Modesto. Or was it like myspace.com slash or Jay Smith? check out my iTunes, by J Smith, B-U-Y-J-A-Y-S-M-I-T-H.com. It'll take you right to the iTunes wow. store. I know, I bought it, baby. That's good thinking right there. Hey, I'd, I, like, you to, know, I'd like to buy J Smith. I'm a multi-talented anomaly. <laughs> That's what they say in L.A. anyway. Yeah.